our institutional financial systems are designed around a cost-based model. Some of the benefits of, of accepting a fixed price contract for work is that there are no expenditure restrictions. There's no financial reporting. There, there are no audits. Your, your costs can't be audited under a fixed price contract. There shouldn't be any need to audit them because there are no costs from the sponsor's point of view. There's only a price that they're paying for deliverables or for the overall contract. Also, at the end of the agreement, if, you have, if your institution's expenditures for this project have not yet reached the total amount that, of the agreed upon price, as long as you make your deliverables, meet your milestones, or whatever it might be, you will get paid. And the sponsor, unlike cost reimbursement, which we'll talk about in a moment, the sponsor is not going to expect you to give back the unexpected, unexpended funds. It's just the way fixed price works. In fact, every time you make a purchase of, a, of an airline ticket, that's a fixed price purchase. Uh, a hotel room, paying for a hotel room, fixed price purchase. It's, it's just the standard way that, that, uh, that we deal with the commercial sector. Now, where you can have some potential problems, and while there's nothing inherently wrong with a fixed price contract, there is an increased risk to payment or, or getting paid, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, and you will want to modify, ideally, the associated pen penalties, the, the penalties associated with a fixed price contract to a level your institution can accept, and I'll explain what I mean by that. So one of the risky aspects of a fixed price contract is if the parties disagree as to whether a milestone or deliverable requirement was actually met. For example, the PI could submit a technical report, but it doesn't include the results expected by the sponsor, so the sponsor treats it as an unmet deliverable. And if the wording that describes what constitutes an acceptable deliverable is ambiguous in the contract, your PI and the institution may have a diff difficult time winning that argument with the sponsor. Therefore, if you're considering accepting a fixed price contract, you will want to work with the PI to ensure that the milestones and deliverables are clearly described in the contract so, so that there is little doubt as to whether the PI has actually met the requirement.